Sarajevo Station, beautifully rebuilt by the Tito regime, is almost a social centre in 1962. But like the French, the Yugoslavs are rather ashamed of their narrow gauge lines, and the railway over the mountains to Dubrovnik is hidden away at the back. It's almost a day's journey climbing over the barren hills, including a rack section and an amount of double heading. It's one of the finest and longest 75 centimetre systems in Europe. The rack section begins at Bradena, with rack engines coupled on front and rear. Sadly, there was little filming here, as the camera team was arrested, but got away unharmed. So nothing was able to happen until matters got sorted out at Dubrovnik, where there was a lot to see, fortunately. Terminus, flower decked with hanging baskets, had a friendly station master who allowed filming at the station and on the shed, promising more help the next day. So before wandering down over the bauxite covered tracks, these were some shots of an 83 class 082 and an UNRWA, in full if you like, United Nations Relief Association, American built 280 complete with spark arrester, rather like those which were used on the narrow gauge lines in Colorado. The air pump and brake cylinder complete the picture. The team plus interpreter then got a number of shots in the yard including a lovely bogey wagon complete with brakeman's hut at one end before walking down to the depot at the far end of the yard. It was a very busy scene with a number of engines being cold and watered. These included an 83 class 082 number 83149, with a polished shell case full of flowers on her running board, and Yugoslav railway wings and wheel badge on her smoke box, headlamp and spark arresting chimney. Two others, an 83 and an 85 class 262, were ready to back down onto a train which had been made up in the yard. Meanwhile, the yard goat, in the form of the UNRWA engine, was still hard at it, moving box fans, steam drifting lazily from her whistle. The two engines just prepared on the shed drop down one by one onto what turns out to be a very long mixed train, the 85 class going to the rear to act as a banker, whilst number 83135 came down to be the pilot. It was becoming more and more obvious that this was no ordinary narrow gauge line, but a main artery of traffic. The huge trains full of bauxite from the port was evidence of this. The Austrians who built the railway during the heyday of their empire saw to it that this line of some military importance was not only well built, but the locomotive stock was standardized as well as sturdy. Their 83 and 85 class engines were proof of both. After a little tinkering and oiling, it was time to depart. The train was to go all the way to Sarajevo Yards, including a trip up the rack, where it would have to be split. As the train slowly made its way out of the orangey-brown covered tracks, the engines working hard and eldritch whistles shrieking, this suddenly became the place to be. Where else in Europe would one find such a spot on 750 millimeter gauge as well? As each engine came past, it was educational as well as fascinating to see the variations of the 082s with their drum-like spark arrestors and slide valve cylinders, then two quite modern steel-sided coaches which had not been cleaned for months, a huge string of wagons, then, last but certainly not least, the more modern 85 class, 282, pushing away as if her life depended on it. It was sight and sound to be remembered. Riding up with the mixed, one was able to see the considerable engineering works on the line. The track cut into the virgin rock, tunnels and spirals. It was breathtaking. The next problem on the agenda was how the team would be received at the top of the grade at Hum, a tiny village with a huge marshalling yard and the junction for the line to Titograd. 
In fact, Hum provided a variety of traffic, mostly hauled by 83 class 08 twos. Those coming up the bank having their fires clean for good measure. The passenger coaches were packed to the doors, for public transport is cheap in Yugoslavia. This is certainly so with a trainload of youngsters headed towards Mostar behind 83149. After this train had departed, there was a chance to have a quick look at one of the older classes bound for Titograd with a freight. Within minutes, another 83 came in bound for Dubrovnik. It was lucky to catch it before being arrested again.